question 21 a man invested one third of his capital at 7% one fourth at 8% and the remainder at 10% simple interest respectively if his annual income from the interest and the earned by 561 what is the capital again question of weighted average one third of so what is the average percentage let's find that first one third of the capital on one third of the capital he is getting 7% on one fourth of the capital he is getting 8% what is the remainder 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 is equal to 12 so 4 plus 3 is 7 yeah so total so the remainder is 1 minus 7 by 12 which is equal to 5 by 12 So on the remainder five by twelve, he gets ten percent. So what is the average rate of interest? Effectively, this is what the question is all about. So, so to make your life easier, we can even forget the percentage, forget the percentage part, and make the denominator equal to twelve to f five one. So this is on four by twelve of seven plus three by twelve of eight plus five by twelve of ten. Which is nothing but twenty-eight plus twenty-four is forty-two. Fifty-two, fifty-two plus hundred makes it fifty-two uh, plus fifty makes it hundred and two. So it is the average rate of interest is this much, hundred and two by hundred. And then you can so you can find the rate of interest and get the answer from there. If it is annual, find if it is annual income from interest, then what is the capital? Okay. So the rate of interest is what you found. Or in other words, uh, in this is nothing but twelve eight to ninety six six eight point five percent. So the rate of so eight point five percent of principal is equal to five sixty one. Okay, if you remember, one by twelve, one by twelve is eight point three three percent. So, so you can say this is into twelve times, or in other words, it means just eight times here. Yeah, we have some here. Eight point five percent of the principal is equal to five sixty one, or multiply this with twelve, hundred two percent of the principal will be five sixty one into twelve. Five hundred into twelve is six thousand. Six hundred into twelve, sixty into twelve is seven twenty, and twelve. So six seven three two. So hundred two percent is six seven three two. Your answer should be slightly less than that. Sixty six hundred. So give the answer. Alternatively, you can check out eight point five percent of which choice is equal to five sixty one. That should be the answer.